Hey everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be tapping into your energy, Virgo. See what your person doesn't want you to know currently. I've already shoveled for this and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I'd like to thank everybody for the likes, comments, subscribes, being here and giving me support on my channel, helping it grow, um, just giving me love. Know that I love you back, Virgo, okay? Mother's Day is coming up this weekend, y'all. Don't forget to celebrate the mothers in your lives. Celebrate yourself. Allow people to... Um, <laughs> allow people to celebrate you as well virgo let's tap in because off top this person is already getting on my nerves all right what they don't want you to know is that about you is that they think you're behaving stupidly virgo okay this is this person's feelings about you they feel like that you are behaving stupid okay this could be out of fear we know turkeys are fearful they stay in the woods okay they stay among trees they hide i feel like somebody's feeling like what you're doing is foolish virgo also that you could be skittish what is this person hiding from virgos what are the feelings this person are hiding from virgo what is this energy turkey i just heard why did the chicken cross the road What is this person hiding from Virgo currently? This person could also be the one behaving stupidly. I just heard. We have sorrow over a loss. Okay. They don't want you to know that they regret losing you. Okay. They have sorrow. They have regrets. They still feel the pain of losing you. I feel like they feel they were behaving stupidly and that's why they lost you sorrow over a loss this person could also feel like um you're behaving stupidly and you're going to be sorry that you lost them okay we're gonna to have to see which way this is going here seek out information that will help you this person is also looking for information they don't want you to know that they're seeking out some type of information that will help them strong emotion passionate love or hate they either love you or really hate you, Virgo. And I'm feeling like if this person is feeling stupid over losing you, they uh, love you here. If this is somebody that you have conflict with, Virgo, they feel stupid over this whole situation. And they're seeking out information that will help them because they have uh, passion and hate for you. You'll be shown the way. This person is hoping that the divine shows them the way here seeking out information yeah this is somebody who's like in need of information this is somebody who um needs help needs direction what they don't want virgo to know currently at the bottom we have basket recognition reward for merit yeah they don't want you to uh <laughs> i feel like they don't want to reward you for anything they don't want you to know about something they don't want to give you your merit they want to keep that secret we have chair empties. Someone is leaving your life. They don't want you to know that they may be leaving, Virgo. Okay. Heartache over what's no longer yours. February love. Hmm. And then we have marriage, situation in balance that needs careful handling, in need of assistance. Somebody's in some type of situation here, Virgo. They're, they need to be shown the way. They're seeking out information that will help them, but they're in some type of situation. They're feeling sorrow. They don't want you to know this here. Bottom of the deck, yeah, blind, searching for answers, blinded by truth, watching you online, wanting to know. This is somebody who's watching you, dealing with you, and have some type of situation going on. Reconciliation union when I split the deck. Tell me about this stupid behavior. Tell me about this stupid behavior. Muse. Inspired by you, listening to you, emotional bond and song lyrics. Someone is behaving stupidly. Virgo, they may be feeling like they're simping over you. I just heard um, 
Got me simping over you. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Got me simping over you. Um, This person may be listening to music that reminds them of you. Okay, they may tell themselves that it's stupid. They may be feeling like this this puppy love, this this love, this emotional bond that they have to you, this this attachment that they have to you is stupid here, Virgo. Got me twisted over you. Only you though. Okay, they don't want you to know this. They don't know want you to know that they feel this way only about you. Obsessed with you. Terms, negotiations, working it out, and proposal. They could be feeling like, since they feel that way about you, they're stupid. That's, that's a stupid move. They could be have people in their ear also making them feel like this way. Yeah, not taking action. So they don't know what to do. They, they want to seek out information. They want to be shown the way. Then we have justice here. Legal matters and witchcraft. Hmm. Sorrow over loss. This person may be dealing with some type of legal situation or seeking out information about a legal situation. Sorrow over a loss. I keep seeing the side piece card. Sorrow over a loss energy here for what they are hiding from Virgo. Sorrow over a loss. Yeah, terms, working out, negotiating, begging. They don't want you to know that they are like tethered okay so this is definitely not somebody who hates you okay so there was a couple different scenarios of how this was going to go in the beginning but now i see um this person has some feelings for you okay um they feel really stupid that they still have these feelings for you that they still feel this way uh but they can't help it here they're very remorseful over what happened in a way that they are willing to beg to work things out negotiate do things that they don't want to do compromise just to have this situation just to keep this connection here to tell tele tele telepathy sorry intuition dreams and heart songs again with the music i feel like they're they feel like they're connected to you you guys may have some type of yeah roller coasters up and down they they are connected to your feelings your emotions dating hooking up one night stand this could lead to strong passion Proposal again, Virgo. Um, seeking out information. Somebody want to marry you. Somebody might want to marry you. Take this to a higher commitment here. Seeking out information that will help you. This is somebody who I think I feel like this is a masculine energy who has a lot of feelings but want, doesn't want to be associated with those feelings, right? This is somebody who was born or raised to feel like their emotions should be hidden, okay? They may be simp or they may be gay or they may be um, a nerd, something soft if they express these emotions that they have for you, Virgo. So they're masking it, pretending. Not being genuine. Don't know what to do with these emotions. Seeking out information that will help you. What's this energy? Magnifying glass. Showing proof, validation, confirming, and finding the truth. Obsession. This this person has an obsession with confirming something. Confirming that you love them too. Confirming that this is love. Confirming that you're the one. Confirming that this obsession has to be something more than just their feelings. There, there has to be something behind it. Unconditional love. I can't make this up, y'all. There has to be something behind it. Why are they feeling this way? Is this unconditional love? I just saw somebody crying. Re reconciliation coming back. Seeking out a way to do this, Virgo. I just saw somebody crying. I'm not going to lie time they feel like time is of the essence um dismiss leaving behind proposal before you dismiss them before you leave them behind before you look the other way they want to offer you something take it to the next level do something here but they frozen from action 
They don't want to do these. They don't want to have these feelings. They don't want to take action on these feelings, Virgo. There's some toxic memories that they have with you. Okay, revenge and influences bottled up. They may have third parties. They may have told people in their lives about this shit. And, and third parties want revenge. They don't know if you're going to take... Uh, this person could have cheated on you in the past. They could have done something stupid in the past. And they knew they loved you and they still did something stupid. And they, they don't know if you're going to get revenge on them. They're bottling up all these feelings. They don't know if they take you back and put you in this position and give you this peace. If you're going to do something in revenge here, get revenge on them. Do it again. Run here, Virgo. Tether and gossip. This person also knows that you know about them talking shit about you. Period. On God, y'all. If you ever hang out with a person and they tell you gossip, best believe they are gossiping about you if you had that one friend all y'all do when y'all get together is gossip know that that same friend is gossiping about your shit too okay um this could be somebody that you know likes talking about people all right um they'll if you ask them a question they'll tell you it so you know if somebody else asks them a question they're going to tell that person this is somebody who likes to be in the center yeah call uh, likes to be in the center of attention will tell people about um their love okay call from here talk to their friends about what they did okay this could be a toxic trait all right um okay let's keep going emotions strong emotions passionate love or hate strong emotions passionate love or hate fire has some, it's something significant um, i see a candle out here and then flames it's going to be a pyro i love pyro i mean i love fire so i wouldn't say i set things on fire or anything <laughs> But I love a little fire pit action. You know? What's this strong emotion, passionate love or hate? Y'all, I just I just saw um lust and pain. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. It could be something with the sex between you guys. Okay. There's something about pleasure and pain here. Strong emotion, passionate. Look at the proposal. Wanting to pop the fuck out. Okay, I had to tuck it back in. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. What is this energy? Look. A whole lot came out for that. Okay. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that just for a second because it's 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 what did I say about fire? Okay, and then fire came up. Um Somebody could have burned down something. Something could have burned. It could have went up in flames here, Virgo. It could have went up and disintegrated quickly here. They could be feeling like this strong emotion. It could be witchcraft. <laughs> That's why they're feeling this explosion of emotion. That strong, passionate love or hate. This is why they're feeling it. This is why they're feeling stupid. Are these my real feelings? Do I really feel this way about Virgo? Even though all the toxic shit that happened in the past, everything that happened between me and Virgo, eh, everything that Virgo was lacking, everything that Virgo was not, everything that Virgo was not that I expected them to be. Why do I still feel this way about Virgo? Is it witchcraft? Did Virgo put a hex on me? Denial, contradiction, refusing to face reality. They don't want to face the reality of these, these emotions that they feel for you, Virgo. It'd be easier to blame it on witchcraft, wouldn't it be? It'd be easier to blame some shit on witchcraft than to believe that they actually had these strong feelings for you that's making them want to transcend, prepare for a union, have a new phase for you. These emotions, they're unpredictable how they feel about you, Virgo. You got somebody strapped in, drowning in emotion. fiery emotion and sorrow i feel like somebody actually cries over you has cried over you virgo all right give me one card for this fire energy 
strong emotion, passionate love or hate. One card, please, to sum up this energy. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. What's this energy in here? Clown. Ashamed. Humiliation. Frozen. Not taking action. This is why, Virgo. They feel ashamed of their emotions. They feel ashamed that they feel so strongly about you. They feel ashamed that uh, they even got themselves into a situation like this. It's like, it's like making a player fall in love, but they were known as a player. This is like making somebody notoriously who hates vegetables become a vegan. Like now they didn't talk so much trash about the vegan community <laughs> that it would be crazy if they came out saying that they vegan now. But the way they health set up, they got to be vegan. But the way their emotions set up, they got to be with you, Virgo. But the way they're feeling, they can't leave you alone. This is insane. I also just heard undercover, brother. They may keep this undercover. Somebody could be um, bisexual as well or like the same sex as well. There's something about... Feeling shame and humiliation for feeling this strong about you. That's not, that's not allowing them to take action on you. To take action to do something. They just while they're watching, wait, and obsess here. Spirit, divine intervention. You will be shown the way. That's the next card. Divine intervention and you will be shown the way. They feel like they'll just wait. They'll just wait till the divine intervenes. Till the divine intervenes here. Avoid, block, pushing away, run away together. So they may. <laughs> the divine may block and avoid this, run away together in faith. I feel like they're. <laughs> The divine may be intervening and they may be blocking what the divine is telling them to do. The divine could have told them to go on an adventure with you, have a new start here, go on vacation. Some type of wish, hope, dream, faith, prayer. There was something the divine told them here, but they're guarded, apprehensive over the past. Virgo, there's something that happened in the past here with you. They gave in a pleasure here with you and it may end it in a child. Okay, a child could have been introduced here or it made them feel childish. It made them feel insecure. Something happened here in the past that's forbidden that they don't want to do again here. Arrogance and their pride is holding them back. But they have this connection here, Virgo. They know they're supposed to uh, show up. They know they're supposed to change. They know there's something here. They can feel the obsession, the love here. They have reflected on this. They know they should pursue you. But there's other things that are happening. They could be hiding third parties. They could be hiding other things that it could be stopping them from this. Bottled up. They may have to leave behind a family, leave behind a third person. Ghost or somebody needs to leave behind a third person. They're jealous over this. You could be in a situation that they're jealous over, Virgo. They feel trapped, shattered, wanting to propose, wanting to make this call, knowing that they're running out of time and feeling like there's something behind all of this. Spiritually, somebody don't know if it's if it's good or bad, love or hate. They don't know if they're up or down. They're just drowning, Virgo. And I feel like you're not participating in this. That's why they're feeling so sorrow. That's why they're trying to seek out information. You will be shown the way. You'll be shown the way. I just heard creme fresh. A little creme fresh. Somebody give me a chef. Make their omelets with creme fresh. Creme fresh. What's I'm not sure, y'all. Some cream. <laughs> Don't make me lie. Um, 
you'll be shown the way here. What is this energy for the, what this person is hiding? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got trapped energy. They feel like they're stuck in a situation, captive. They don't know what to do, what move to make over these feelings that make them feel explosive, that is overwhelming, Virgo. They don't want to face this reality either. Ascending and transformation. They're waiting for the divine just to step in. They're like, I'll just let God take control. Learning, transitioning, preparing for a union. And they feel happy about this, Virgo. But they're also trapped. So they're letting God take control. Somebody is like... <sighs> there it is again. Spirit and tether. Somebody has like some type of spiritual connection here um, with the divine. I feel like they get answers. They... They don't use tarot, okay? Um, they don't use divination. They have a, a different connection here, Virgo, where I feel like they feel or intuitively know or get some type of um, sign. You will be shown the way. Yeah, illuminated in feelings. This person thinks that things are illuminated through a feeling. Um, uh, they feel like they have spiritual powers where they can tap into other people's feelings, the feeling of something. They know it when they feel it. Gut feeling energy. Emotion. You'll be shown the way. They feel like spirit will show them through their emotions. Side piece. Mistress flirting with others. Secret hookup. Wow. Presently. Uh, okay. Dating. Hooking up. Okay, and then unconditional love, unexpected change, adrenaline, call signs, Virgo. Okay, so at first I was about to hold this person, call him a hoe, call him a whore, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> but with this energy, I feel like they're being shown the way here because... I don't know. I feel like presently you're in a side piece position. I'm not going to lie. Um, presently you're not with this person. Okay, y'all are not in a relationship. I feel like y'all are not even in a situationship. There could just be like secret hookups. There could be um, just like something on the side. Y'all may occasionally do something involving love, but it's not really like that. There's something in a situationship going on here. They feel like you're presently a side piece, all right? Um, and in this energy, I feel like this person is also keeping their dating options open because you two are not together. And you may be holding back from this person. That's why they're trying to see if you love them. They're trying. To, that's why they're trying to validate if you love them too, if you have these feelings too, if you feel the same way, or are they wasting time? Are they clowning themselves? Will they clown themselves? They come towards you with a ring, Virgo. Will you clown the ass? Okay, they don't know. They can still be dating. They can still have their options open, even though they know that they love you. Even though they're supposed to take some type of action on this love here, Virgo. There's ups and downs. There's adrenaline. There's there's the feelings. There's rushes. This person is like overwhelmed by these feelings. They're waiting for the spirit to tell them away. So they're not going to stop dating. I feel like they're not putting all their eggs in a basket because this is in a basket. Y'all two are not together, okay? Um, Y'all may hook up, but y'all not together. You may be denying them that, Virgo. That's why they're in this begging, working out, negotiating with you. Because something happened in the past here. Call and signs. But their spirit, you'll be shown the way. Spirit is calling them and giving them signs in their intuition here. Uncontrollable appetite and frozen. This person, when they're near you, has an uncontrollable appetite for you. But can't take action on it. There's something that they're jealous over as well. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of rumors here talking behind your back. This person could have talked about you, told people about this, and this is why they feel humiliated and shame. How they told people about you. They could have clowned you, Virgo. Not gonna lie, they could have clowned you. And now they're gonna tell everybody that same person that they clown, right? The, the same person that they clowned, they now love. 
they now how to have all these feelings for they now want to marry they now see you as a soulmate they're now only attracted to you only focused over you and they're crushed they're panicking they don't know what to do about this pursuit and here's this time crunch again huh. where's that side piece part there it is yeah, presently they're not in a relationship with you They're waiting for a sign. They're waiting for something. This person may have waited their whole life. Okay, this could be somebody in 30s, 40s, still waiting, 50s. Like, come on, bro. And somebody is very indecisive on something unless they have a feeling. And since they had a feeling and it didn't work out before, I feel like they're even more indecisive. Yeah, blind. I can't make this up. They don't know what to do, but they watching you. They don't know what to do, but they watching you. Mm. Time constraint. I feel like the time constraint keeps coming out because this person is like, if they think a Virgo is going to wait on them as they figure out their feelings, um, it's not, that's, that's not going to happen. I feel like Virgo, you're moving on with your life. Um, I wouldn't tell anybody to wait on nothing, period. Anyways, how does what is this person hiding from Virgo? One last thing. See some tarot with his behaving stupidly. The three of coins. Behaving stupidly. Three of coins, the star card, and the seven of coins. So yeah, this person behaves stupidly. Okay, when they come in and try to fix things with you. When they come in and work with you when they're when they're in your vicinity. Seven of coins when they're putting in the work to try to fix something with you, to heal something with you. They may feel like they take stupid actions. They may do things that they regret. They may have their feelings got them tripping. A hey, stumbling. Oh, tripping because I'm falling in love. Yeah, I'm so in love with you. Okay. Um, what's this reef energy? Sorrow over a loss. This is Reef Energy, Sorrow Over a Lost, Negotiating and Begging. What is this energy? Open cause I'm falling in love. Yeah, Death Card. Ten of Coins in the Reverse. And the Eight of Coins. The six of coins. All right. So with the death card here, I feel like there was a major ending. Yes. Yeah, sorrow over a loss. There's that death. With the ten of coins in the reverse, this could have caused them financially, physically, mentally, uh, physically, all that. Um, with the ten of coins, when this when this left, it was like losing their home. It was like losing their stability. It was like really earth shadowing here with the ten of coins because the ten of coins is a large sum of something. It takes a long time to build up that. And when it's in the reverse, it's the loss of something that was... Uh, that, that was valuable okay with the eight of coins virgo i feel like this person is now wanting to work there's that negotiation working begging energy so it's saying the same things here this is why because losing you was like losing a large sum of something that they worked on that they put a lot of energy into virgo it was a major loss seek out information that will help you magnifying glass the lovers and the four of swords yeah they want to find out information virgo lovers will you make this choice okay will you take the choice to be a lover with them will you say i love you here four of swords or will this end will you break up with me four of swords the lovers and four of swords information seeking out finding proof this person also watches you page of cups four of swords yeah, I feel like somebody wants to uh, know this information before they give this offer. Before they do something here. Somebody could also want to find out proof and val validation if something is um, true. If something is real. If something is um, something. They want to verify something here, Virgo. The Emperor and the Strength card for their emotions. Yeah, they're very masculine energy. They're they're <laughs> they're a very Emperor. They're a very hardcore masculine person who holds back what their feelings with the Strength card. There, 
that doesn't want to that want to come off as strong, not someone in their feelings, Virgo. What's the fire and clown energy? We have the magician, the queen of swords, the four of coins, and the eight of wands, Virgo. And they feel like a clown because you made them feel like this. Okay, this is uh, with the magician. This is an action that you took here. Queen of swords. You could have been very cold to them, very analytical. You could have put up a boundary. Four of coins held back communication from them, uh, or. Uh, they could have done something that manifested you holding back from them, holding back from progressing with you. So now they feel uh, shameful over their emotions. They degrade themselves. They feel humiliated for feeling this way because they could have said something to you. and You could have held back. OK, um, so it's like telling somebody that I love you like and then you don't say I love you back. So they're like, damn, I'll never say I love you again. Like this is. This is somebody who's deeply in their feelings, Virgo. They may not tell you that they had these feelings. You may not even know that this person have that level or feelings for you. But I feel like they have said that I liked you. I loved you. Uh, they have, you're my muse. They have done something. They, they've offered up a gesture and you have responded with cold boundaries and holding back from them. So now they feel humiliated, degraded, Virgo. They don't know what to do. They don't know if you love them. They don't know if you feel the same way. They don't know if they're crazy. They don't know if, if the coochie was... <laughs> I just heard... Okay. <laughs> they don't know if the, the sex hat spell work behind it. They don't, they don't know why they're feeling like this, Virgo. Okay. That level of greatness here. Um, candle and side piece energy. Should they remain as a side piece with you? Should they take it to the next level? Should they get married to you? Is this just a fling? Is this just a hookup? I don't know. Show them the way. I feel like you have to show them the way as well. There's something about you needing to respond. Look at how she's holding out her hand. You needing to take this person's hand, extend their hand. Seven of Wands, yeah, guarded, blocked. What's this energy? This person feels blocked from you. Like the only position that they have is this side hookup. Yeah, four coins. Somebody's holding back. Okay, and then we have the Empress, the Devil, and the Two of Wands. They could be feeling like Spirit is holding them back because they may have some type of toxic plan. All right, but with the Seven of Wands, I feel like, Virgo, since you are guarded and you're holding back, they can only have you in this, like, mistress energy, um, the secret, this give you love when you accept the energy. But they see you as somebody that they should be with, the Empress. They see you as somebody valuable here, the Devil and the Two of Wands, and they are obsessing over how this is going to turn out in the future, shown the way in the future or there's something here that is toxic about this per what they're planning what's the the four of cups what's the devil what's the devil here the knight of swords the devil is <laughs> They're obsessed about the future. The devil is that this person wants to act fast. They want to come in reckless. They want to move quickly. They want to do all this here, Virgo. But they know you're valuable. They know you're holding back from them. And they don't know if this is going to be solid or not. If it's going to work out in the future. If this plan will even work. Or if they'll just make shit worse. I feel like somebody also doesn't know if they can support you. I feel like somebody also doesn't know if they can give you what they if give you what you need, Virgo. There's something about this person uh, is is insecure about. This is what I got here for the Virgos. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for Virgos. And y'all already know I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.